Price had long been an advocate of cremation, and in the evening of January the 13th, 1884, a Sunday, he carried the precious body of his dead son to the top of Kailan Field overlooking Llantrasant. He set his tiny linen wrapped bundle onto a cask of oil and set a torch to it. News of this blasphemous act soon spread. The people of Lantris had left their chapel and set up the hill. By the time they reached the top, they had turned into an angry mob, some armed with sticks and clubs. The police had also been informed and arrived just in time to snatch the half-burnt infant from the flames and to stop some of the mob from throwing price into them. Price was arrested and spent the night at Pontypridd Police Station. After an inquest was held into the child's death and against the wishes of the police, Price's demand for the return of the child's body was granted. Ignoring the dangerous anger that he had raised, on March the 21st, he once again returned to Carleon Field, and this time using half a ton of coal, cremated his son and hindered. Dr. Price was indicted at the next Cardiff Assizes for the cremation of the dead body of his child in a case that was to become famous throughout the world. It is not right that a carcass should be allowed to rot and decompose in the earth. It results in a wastage of good land, pollution of the earth, water and air, and uh, is a constant danger to all living creatures. During the trial, Price received thousands of letters of support from all over Britain. In his final judgment, Justice Stevens maintained that cremation of the dead was not illegal, provided it was carried out in such a manner not to cause a nuisance. The legal precedent was set. Price's fight was not just for democracy and justice. He was a cultural alchemist who used every means he could to hold the Welsh people together. His chartism, resistance to courts and churches, and even his infamous Druidism were all parts of his struggle to defend a Welsh identity. There is therefore an issue of cultural identity for us in the same way as there was for William Price, although it is now the, uh, an issue of the identity of a community which is speaking a different language. He is perhaps easier to understand now for people in Welsh-speaking Wales for that reason. I think he's probably easier to understand for the young people who are coming up through Welsh medium schools now uh, than he is to understand for those of us who speak only English. Uh, that is a major difficulty. On the day of his cremation, thousands of people gathered at Llantrisant, and by the evening, most of the crowd had dispersed. Only close family remained, as Dr. Price's flame burnt on. Do you think that I, who have existed upon this earth for 10,000 years, cannot tell what the future has in store for me? Yes, indeed. I shall never see death. Do you see that child? Now, do you understand? <laughs>